what's good you guys this your boy chi world back to y'all again with another video man today i want to share with you guys my story my testimony and i hope with me sharing my story it can help someone out there you know what i'm saying so the topic of this video will be never give up no matter what you're going through always keep in mind there's a sunshine after every storm so i'm gonna start with my story like about a year ago man i found myself in a very dark place man and it was like so dark where I didn't want to do anything I love to do, which is create art. You know what I'm saying? Like, use my gift. All I wanted to do was lay down and stay in a dark room. I know it sounds crazy, but I know when you're feeling like you're depressed and you're working on a low vibration, you don't want to be around things that uplift you. And it's, it's kind of like that saying, they say, misery like company. I started turning into like a super negative being you know what I'm saying and I didn't want to be around people so I found myself in a very dark place for a long time and what I realized when we get to those places in our life where we're super depressed and we're we're not feeling good about ourselves, everything that we love to do in life it it stops and it, it it get put on a pause and I feel like the longer you stay in a state of depression is is equivalent as being in a coma because time passed by because of how you feeling you know what i'm saying so we don't realize when we're going through things how long we drag that out because just like i told you guys like i was in a deep depression a year ago but yesterday i feel like I had an awakening about life, you know what I'm saying? So that lets you know, like, okay, if I had an awakening yesterday, how long have I been dwelling on something that's not contributing to me succeeding or being better or making me feel good? So I say that to say this, when we get in these dark places, we can allow things to become a cancer and a hindrance and in reality we can become our worst enemy because i got to a place so dark where i even shared with my parents that i didn't want to live anymore you know what i'm saying and thinking of that now just imagine saying that or feeling that way about yourself and you saying that to people that that cherish you and love you so much you make them feel miserable as well and that's why i get misery likes company because one, however you're feeling about you that's how you make others feel so if i'm loving myself and i'm projecting that i can make others feel great but if i'm an enemy to myself and i feel like causing any type of harm whether it's mentally or physically to myself and i share that with anyone else that's that's what i'm passing on one thing i'm starting to realize the more i live um the things we go through in life you have to go through it you know what i'm saying because i spent my life trying to run from tough situations and doing that running from situations when they present itself you never get the tools and you never get equipped with the wisdom to be able to handle situations because you spent your life running from the problem other than trying to figure out the best ways to solve it so my advice i want to give you guys anything you going through in life understand what don't kill you actually make you stronger because after you come or go through what you, whatever you're going through and after you get through it the reason i said at the beginning of this video the the sunshine after every storm that means it's going to be brighter days but you can't have brighter days and you can't cherish those brighter days without having those dark days you know what i'm saying so i'm just starting to realize 
how much time I wasted and how much I punished myself for things that's out of my control. You know what I'm saying? I can't control what tomorrow bring, but I can control how I uh, interpret what life bring. I can control how I feel about things that happen and I can control me. I can't control what anyone does to me or says to me, but I can control how I let that affect me. So my, my advice to you guys is whatever you're going through, just like I said, go through it. It's only going to make you stronger. And always keep in mind is the main thing you need to keep in mind. Never let anything alter how you feel about you or never let anything in this world make you not want to be yourself because God made us all to be different. So sometimes when we start feeling different, feeling different supposed to be uncomfortable because if we was all the same, that means you're not being yourself. You're just trying to fit in with others because you're afraid of the pressures of being judged for just being unique. So never let nothing change you in this world. And keep in mind, there, there are good versus evil. It's it's spiritual warfare if you believe in the spiritual world like I do. Like, I'm a Christian, so, of course, I believe in heaven and hell. But even if you don't, if you don't believe in that, understand it's good versus evil. It's negative energies. It's positive energies. So every day you wake up, you're in a constant battle. You know what I'm saying? And you have to understand once you work so hard to get yourself in a great space, which is working on higher vibrations, thinking positive, uh, believing in yourself, you have to protect your energy. Because just like I said, it's, it's kind of like you walking around and you're a magnet and you attract things in your life. You get what I'm saying? So once you get yourself in a great space, and if you're someone like me that that just came from a dark space, you have to do everything you can to protect your energy. Meaning, don't entertain things that will lead you nowhere. Don't entertain things that will knock you off your path. And especially just like me, I was blessed to be able to draw and share for you guys. There's no excuse for me to punish myself to hate to do what I was meant to do. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said, like during those dark moments of depression, I, I realized how much I punished myself. And, and if I could go back in time, instead of trying to take on all the burdens and put everything on my shoulder, what I should have did, I should have just gave it all to God and I should have kept going. You know what I'm saying? So right now I am... um. I am suffering the consequences of my own actions. You know what I'm saying? I feel like my life became harder because of the fact of dwelling on an emotional thing that I can't control. You get what I'm saying? So I say that to say this. Whatever you're going through, let it go. Because if you don't let it go, you will become a slave to what you're going through. And you won't be able to go nowhere. You'll be stagnant. And then when you finally wake up, when you finally wake up and realize, like, damn, being sad is a choice. Being mad is a choice. Allowing someone to make me feel bad is a choice. So I have no one to blame but myself. No matter what anyone do or say to you, you still have a choice to allow this opinion, allow these, uh, this world, allow it to, to, to make you feel a certain way. You should never give nothing in this world the power to make you not feel valuable. Because if you wasn't valuable, God wouldn't have made you. So that's how you know, like, you got purpose. And one thing I feel like, even, even with your talents, I feel like you should never ask somebody, is your art good enough? Is your, 
Is your music good enough? Whatever you love to do, you should not. You should never ask if or seek for validation, because seeking for validation is another form of not being confident in you. Because if whoever you're seeking for validation from, if they don't give you the answer that you need, you will psychologically use that to not give yourself credit or you will use that like, well, maybe I'm not good enough because this person said it. Don't nobody determine you. You know what I'm saying? You have to believe in you and you have to understand God wouldn't have made you if you weren't special, if you wasn't great, or if you didn't have the potential to be something amazing. So keep in mind, <clears throat> when you're going through things, you have to change the way you look at it. Embrace it because you cannot be stronger. You cannot be better. You cannot have wisdom. You cannot have patience without going through things that creates that that added ability you can't be strong until you go through the moments of being weak you know what i'm saying you can't be fixed or tough without being broke down so everything in life you go through is only meant for your greater good so don't do like i did for all these years and run from challenges you need to run to it and you need to run through it so when you come out on the other side, you will be a better version of you. And that's all I wanted to say for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.